Here's a Razer Plus smartphone. I'm going to show you how to insert a physical SIM card and then double check the mobile settings, okay? So first thing is you need to go ahead and eject this SIM tray out. Top left hand side, you can see it right there. You grab your SIM ejection tool. You do get one that comes out of your box, but if you don't have one laying around, you can use a different phone SIM ejection tool or a different tablet or iPhone or even like a paper clip or a bobby pin or the back of a stud earring as long as the needle is kind of long and thin. Okay. Anyway, top left hand side, I see the outline of the tray and I see that little tiny hole. So let me go ahead and put the needle into the hole and then I'm going to press towards the phone. And then you see that little tiny lip here pops out just a little bit. Let me go ahead and pull that out. And I'm going to leave it just like this so I know exactly which way to put it back in. Okay. I can also say see that it says SIM right there, okay? Now, look at the tray, I see the bottom left-hand side has a diagonal slit. So let me get my Nano SIM card here, and there's a diagonal slit right here, okay? Right there, so it should fit in just like this. Okay, so when we put this in, it looks like the metal contact is gonna be on the bottom. When you put it in, you have to be very careful. You tip it upside down, it's gonna fall out, okay? So what I typically like to do is I'm going to hold part of the SIM card like that. So when I put it into the tray, it's not going to fall out. So let me put it in just like this, a little bit like that. And then we're going to go ahead and slide it in. And let me sign in here. And see if, oh, okay, I got a voicemail here. I can see reception bars. And now let's go ahead and go to the settings, the mobile settings, okay? So let me swipe up here. Let's go to settings. And then from here, let's go down to, and we'll tap on network and internet right here. Let's tap on that. And we'll go to mobile network. I can see my T-Mobile here. This actually phone is from, uh, it was locked to uh, AT&T and then I got it unlocked and now I'm using my T-Mobile uh, SIM card in here, but you can see uh, for me, they automatically turn on my mobile data and my international international data roaming. They uh, turn mine on as well. Some of you guys may, may get charged or whatnot to a certain point. And you can look through here as well. Let's just say T-Mobile on there. So anyway, I'm good to go. I'm up and running, and that's pretty much it.